Hey guys, Ricardo, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today we're looking at a error where basically you're trying to update your device. So for example, if I go into about device and I'm connected to the internet and I check for a software update as you're about to see. And basically you're going to get a particular error or update error saying that you are unable to update because your software has been um, modified. Alright guys, and here you go, here's the error, and if you can read, I'll just put this on screen so you can uh, actually read it yourself, where it says software update, the operating system on your device has been modified in an uh, unauthorized way, try downloading software updates using smart switch on your computer or visit a customer service center. Now, um, of course, you might not be able to visit a customer care center, so I'm going to show you what to actually do. Your error might read slightly different, for example, on some older devices, instead of smart switch, it will actually say um, connect to Samsung um, keys. Um, in this um, case here, guys, all it's saying is that, guess what? Your device actually has on um, software that has changed the device from its custom state to a modified state for example if you root your device maybe your phone was unlocked using a third-party software that modified your phone in a certain way so what's happening here is that the update or the OTA update over the year update is actually um, protecting the device it doesn't want to update it in case it might cause your device to actually run into issues when you have modified it beyond its normal means so in case you're seeing this error i'm going to show you actually what here you can actually do now i'm going to actually verify that this device is actually modified to do that you can actually go into settings you can go down to about device and say about device guys you're going to see status once you hit on status you're going to move down once you move down at the bottom here you'll notice it says um sorry that was off screen You'll notice at the base here it says um, device status and it will say custom. Alright, so custom indicates that this is actually modified and um, if it was actually a um, normal phone unmodified, it should have said official. Alright, so I'm just going to exit and in fact I have actually modified um, this device. It's actually um, rooted. So what's happening here? I have super. Alright, so I've actually have super user which indicates that uh, my device is actually um, rooted. So um, the first thing you're going to do guys is that you're going to make sure that USB debugging is actually enabled. Um, device will actually tell you later on to actually do this. So we're just going to preempt this. Um, I'll have a separate video showing you how to enable it. But basically you need to have developer options. To do that you need to go into about device, tap on the build number about a few times and You'll see developer options appear so if you have developer options already you can actually tap on it all right and what we're going to look for is the option that says usb debugging and you're going to turn it on mine is already on you're just going to toggle it to the on state um the links will be in the description or they pop out on screen the bubble should appear to that um article so once you have that enabled next we're going to switch over to the computer once you're on the computer i'll actually show you guys how to use smart switch or keys and how to actually um, update your device in um, it will work on any device guys so if depending on what Samsung you have you just get keys or get um, smart switch smart switches for newer devices or see on the computer alright guys here we are on my computer so basically as you can see here I have downloaded or pre-downloaded this smart switch application you can actually go to Google and, and search for Samsung smart switch that's for devices such as the Samsung Galaxy S6, S7, S8 and above. All the devices such as the S5, 4, 3 and so on will use keys. So they're basically the same software except um, Smart Switch is the updated version. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can actually get the download link. So what you're going to do here guys is um, right away you can actually Go ahead and either connect your phone or launch and then connect your phone. So I'm just going to connect my device to the PC. I'm doing that off screen. So you should hear it connected. And there you go. So it's just um, connected. I'm just going to close this out. See my Samsung Galaxy A6. What I'm going to do here is just to show you that um, it should be able to fix the problem already enabled USB debugging. It's going to launch Smart Switch. And of course it identifies my um, Samsung Galaxy S6. I can actually look and see that it's the SMG 
sorry, SMG 920T. And of course, it's a standard Android version and it shows the internal memory and so on, right? So what can I, I can actually do here is guys is I can do a bunch of things such as backup, restore, and so on. Alright? So I can actually go into more. I can reinstall device drivers. I can actually um, do a few things. And it shows the current software version. Now what we're gonna do here guys is that we're gonna basically um, update the software that's on this device. Alright guys, so basically guys, make sure your device is connected and also ensure that you have an uh, active internet connection. Um, if you do not have an internet connection, this tool will not work. So it's best to make sure that you have an internet connection and make sure it's a fast internet connection so you can actually update your um, phone. Now, well, all you gotta do guys, it will scan, it will find that there's a new version available. And all you have to do is just hit update and of course, Follow the on-screen instructions and your phone will basically be updated. Now I do not want to do this to this device. Also, you may want to actually do some quick backups such as if your pictures and so on before you proceed with the update. But basically, it should be done in um, a few minutes to or a few hours depending on the speed of your uh, internet. And basically, once done, you'll be able to update your phone once again and you'll also be on the latest version of Android and of course once you're on the latest version of Android you can actually start updating from your phone again um, root and so on will be removed so just make sure you restore your backups after everything is um, finished so as you see guys it's as simple as this I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and of course as I said Make sure you have internet connection. Make sure it's fast enough before um, attempting this method. So guys, you're from Black Tech Tips. See you in the next time. Bye.